Ah, oh, this bike feels like a toy after riding the 650 for so long now. I still have this little 250R, but I never ride it. It sort of has become de facto my dad's bike. He rides it for his own enjoyment and entertainment. I'm taking it out for a quick little spin for some fun. I've got a plan today. I'm going to go somewhere fun to ride around while I talk about my topic. But man, this thing is... <laughs> It really does. It feels like a toy. It's very... It's small, it's cute, it's light, it's fun! Whee! I have no idea how fast I'm going. There's no speedometer on this bike. What am I going to talk about today? Motorcycle touring. Something that maybe a lot of moto vloggers haven't really gotten into that much but I recently got interested in it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it is that I came to be interested in it, but I am. I just like the idea of a person or people, you know, just them and their machines out, not against the elements, I guess, but in the elements, surviving the elements, going on a trip, getting from point A to point B, just sort of being self-sufficient out on the road. I like that idea. So I decided I wanted to try it, and uh, a couple of months ago, uh, I decided to do it. I uh, sort of spur the moment. I just threw together a quick plan in, you know, in the space of about a week and ended up doing it. I rode my bike up Big Sur. Uh, I camped along the way. I stayed up north with a friend in Napa, California, wine country, enjoyed some wine, then rode back down the five freeway and uh, it was great. It was quite wonderful actually. And uh, I guess uh, this is my introduction video to that. Uh, uh, I wanted to make a little introduction to it because I also wanted to talk about The Long Way Round, which is a movie that uh, Ewan McGregor, Charlie Boorman, and a guy named Claudio, whose last name I can't remember, made together. They rode their motorcycles all the way from London to, you know, across Europe and Russia all the way to New York. Hell of a ride, man. And man, they encountered adversity like I cannot imagine. You know, they encountered mafia, they encountered weather, they encountered rough terrain. It was very brutal. And what, uh, what struck me as very odd about that whole, their, their adventure, is how unprepared they seemed for it uh, mentally. Because you could, uh, a couple of episodes of it are dedicated to them preparing for the trip. And their pre preparations are very happy-go-lucky. They really didn't seem to have any sort of comprehension of what exactly it was they were getting themselves into. So when they started facing these difficulties, it, it sort of got them down. It got them very depressed and upset very easily, I think. At least it seemed that way from watching the show. So I, uh, you know, when I went and decided I wanted to do my tour, you know, I knew what I was getting into. I knew as a city slicker, roughing it out on the road for three days was not going to be easy. And it, granted, I didn't run into the kind of adversity they did, but at least I knew, you know, this isn't going to be peaches and cream. It's not going to be like ride three or four hours, pitch up your tent, have a beer and call it a day. You know, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And I guess I was very surprised to find that they were not of that mindset, you know, they, they seemed to be in a very joking kind of mood throughout the whole thing, which, yeah, it surprised me. So anyways, I've got my video of the Big Sur road trip, and I'm going to be editing it. It's going to take a long time to get it up, but I'll get it eventually up, and I'll be posting it piece by piece. I don't know how much of it will be useful since there's a lot of it that's going to be sort of, you know, a lot of the audio might be drowned out by highway highway speed wind winds so anyways I wanted to do this video in this dirt field because I wanted to come out onto this uh, so-called dirt thingy for a long time now and ride around on it on my little 250 uh, but I never really got around to it just never made the time for it so I figured if I was going to talk about the long way around and riding bikes on uh, you know crummy terrain then I might as well finally make a video on this dirt thingy and do the long way around video that here so anyways yeah that's something for you to look forward to I guess uh, that those videos will 
be starting to come out hopefully later this month and uh, I hope you will enjoy them they'll give you a little bit of insight into what motorcycle touring is all about I'm gonna go explore the other side here but yeah look forward to that if you want to see it uh, if you're not subscribed go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel and we will uh, go on this journey together